Native American chiefs watching their former sacred land be turned into a six-lane highway and a Walmart parking lot. Yeah, this is just more insult to injury. Like, at the very least, we could have made, like, a national park out of it or something. Instead, the land is just being used so rednecks can do burnouts in the parking lot on a Tuesday night. The world's playing a real-life game of Among Us right now. That Nord Stream pipeline having problems and someone's just like, who the frick did that? Oh, not someone. That's specifically Germany. They called an emergency meeting. Which one of y'all is a little sus? It's time to start asking some questions around here. Oh, Among Us. Corporate needs you to find the differences between this picture and this picture. People from outside of the Netherlands, they're the same picture. I remember researching and figuring out exactly why Americans use the Netherlands and Holland interchangeably. Of course, I forgot that information, but there's something that happened. Saying Holland as all of the Netherlands is like saying England for all of the UK. Holland is just two of the 12 provinces in the Netherlands. According to this, when the Dutch set out for trade routes around the world, most of the ships came out of Holland, and when people asked where they're from, they said Holland. They would, they would just say Holland. I feel like I made this mistake once and then everyone dunked on me in the comment section and I never did it again. We just need to have that same exact thing happen to everyone on Earth now. Me tries to explain that North America has many countries. Europeans, three. Take it or leave it. It's not even just Europeans. I feel like it's most people on Earth. They just think all that's here is Canada, the US, and Mexico. But of course, there's seven countries in Central America and then everything in the Caribbean out this way. Greenland is technically under control of Denmark, but you could still say Denmark. I think part of the problem is that everyone has their own definition of continents. I have seen Central America sometimes included in a different continent or as their own continent. Maybe that's what's leading to the three answer. And this map is looking like someone is defining a Central American continent and their own Caribbean continent. What is even going on anymore? Titanic 2 is preparing to set sail in 2022. Meanwhile, 315 billion ton iceberg breaks off Antarctica. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's all coming together. Man, I love sequels. It's strange because if you look at the dates, this iceberg broke off in 2019, more than likely it probably took about three years for them to build this Titanic 2. It's almost like they heard the news there was this massive iceberg just floating out in sea and they were like, we've had one Titanic. What about a second? Blow my mind! Hmm. The Qing Dynasty almost passed into the First World War. And technically, it did exist during the World War, but it only exists for 12 days when someone tried to restore the Chinese monarchy. That sure would have been crazy. Well, sometimes it's fine to give up. This man doesn't even realize he actually did hit the jackpot. Trust me, you do not want to keep on digging for this. This poor guy doesn't even know either. Imagine you're looking for diamonds in Minecraft and you're mining some sort of cave system. And you turn the corner and you see this. Infinitely worse than a creeper. If the theory of evolution were true, and there were millions of these, and millions of these, then where are all these things in the middle? Oh, wait a minute. Someone on a Balkan subreddit posted this so that everyone can poke fun at themselves. Unless this person that posted this was actually a part of this area of Greece. He didn't include this in the Balkans. Hand over Transylvania to Hungary and give us your oil. Also, send your men to the Eastern Front. Yes, sir. Uh, glory to the German Empire. We gave you all this land. Now, please send your men to the Eastern Eastern Front, lol. No, says Bulgaria. <laughs> Looks like Romania needs to learn a little bit how to haggle. What makes this even better is that I'm reminded of, like, Bulgaria asking for reparations from Germany. <laughs> they were given so much land, and they were a horrible ally. And to top it all off, now they're asking for reparations. How are they so based? You don't believe supremacy of Croatia? Fine, let compare capital city. Croatian capital city to Serbian capital city. Holy freaking crap! It would appear to seem that the capital of glorious Croatia is significantly more advanced than that of Serbia. Well, this was all the evidence I needed. Croatia coming in with those facts and logic. Red pill me on potato farming. I read a hundred square meter of land can produce one ton of potatoes and a thousand euros at retail. Can you get rich if you own a bunch of land? Anon has discovered agriculture. It's almost like there's a ton of value in owning land. Who would have thought? Been at a golden corral for like five hours. Probably over ten full plates of lemons. No one has said anything. Love this place. Chinese buffets usually stop me at three plates and kick me out. They just keep putting lemons out. I have been here all day. Ten dollars for unlimited lemons is a great deal. <laughs> My man out here just collecting all the lemons. Uh, you gotta love his enthusiasm. Makes me wish I was interested in anything as much as this man is interested in lemons. <laughs> I don't know why it's so funny. It doesn't make sense to me why that's so funny. Poland syndrome. Poland syndrome is a birth defect. Wait, is this a real Wikipedia article? Please don't tell me. You know what? I don't want to look this up. I need a California syndrome. I'm sure there's already an Alabama one. A million dollars or 431,620,000 Hungarian currency. The dollars is just a boring pile of cash. Americans use it. Dumb design and least stable currency. Versus huge tower of cash. Hungarians use it. 
Good looking design, most stable currency. I see this was sponsored by the Hungarian government, I think. You know what? You've convinced me. I'm gonna put my entire life savings into Hungary. At least the forint is not the worst currency in the world. One Romanian is 83 foreign. One of this is 86. Slavics have euro. Oh man, I think you just sent this Hungarian into a midlife crisis. Wait, I am curious. How, how bad is it actually doing? Oh my, okay, wow. It's not even one cent. The Haitian dollar is beating it. Even the lira is not that low. You're not not a based Mongol nomadic step horse rider, you're Slovak. Oh man, you couldn't have broken it to him a little bit easier? This was just uncalled for. Before and after mandatory military service in the Philippines. Is this a YouTube thumbnail or something? This is definitely some great work. I'd click on that. The Philippines also be like, thank you for leaving. Give us your money and get the hell out. I like how straightforward that is. I want to visit the Philippines now. Out of the six nationalities, which one are you? Nordic edition. We have the Finn, the Finn, the Finn, the Norwegian. The Norwegian, the Norwegian, the Norwegian, the average Swede, the average Swede, the average Swede, the least insane Faroe Islander. <laughs> yes, he is very all together, clearly. It's just photos of Willem Dafoe in the lighthouse. Icelander, the Icelander, the Icelander, but sad. The average Dane, the average Dane, Danish people, Dane living right next to uh, that. Bonus, the average Estonian, their only purpose to life is marrying the average Finn and expand them on what? Okay. We know the winner of our election less than three hours after voting stops. Whoever has the most votes wins. That is pretty nice, Brazil. I can't say the same about the US. Counting votes is hard, and it's not like whoever gets the most votes wins anyways. Yet yeah, what is wrong with us? Common Brazil dub. Sometimes it takes us more than 24 hours after the voting stops, and then at the end of the day, it doesn't even matter. That electoral system got us like, my heart goes out to all the Filipino people out there. Thoughts and prayers for the Philippines. What happened? They live there. Is this the average Indonesian or something? Well, at least he's keeping them in his thoughts and prayers. I didn't even know there was a rivalry between these two countries. It's 1954 and France says we were just tired from World War II. Oh man, how could you lose a war against rice farmers despite being one of the biggest colonial powers? Meanwhile, 1975, America's like, we just left, we didn't lose. Oh man, how could you lose a war against rice farmers despite being the biggest superpower in the world? France got their revenge. Sometimes that's why it's best to be patient. They only had to wait 20 years before they can get this laugh in. Turks in the 1500s, we are the most powerful empire in the world. Turks now, hey kid, take the ice cream. Womp. I don't know, I think they're both pretty cool. They're using their powers for just different things now. More economically friendly, maybe? Maybe not, I don't know. Someone please tell me what the hell is going on in Idaho. For some reason, these people are searching up the Nono German book that a skinny mustache man wrote back in the day. Over this? Like, I don't understand. They got some explaining to do. You're not a French monarchists, you live in Louisiana. I'll never get tired of this format. I don't know why. It just works in so many different cases. Ladies from Wisconsin be like, beach day! Of all places, I did not think Wisconsin. This doesn't look like Wisconsin to me, but I feel like you can mix and match a couple different states here. I do want to go mud diving one day. Water scarcity is a serious issue in the United States. We need reservoirs that aren't in drought susceptible regions. Here's my solution. We have a new Lake Erie. We call it Lake Erie 2. I don't really remember what was here before, but you know what? I think this is gonna be much better anyways. Who cares what was there before? Official contract. This contract negates the Russian unimportant papers and joins the four Ukrainian areas to Finland. Ukraine can buy the areas back for one box of beer. 24 cans. Signed. Some Finnish dude. I don't know. Looks legit to me. Let's get him those boxes ASAP. Ye fiendish Anglo-Saxons. Ye newy Nord Stream. Ye oldy Nord Stream. Gas coming out. And um, whatever is happening here. I guess clearly history repeats itself because uh, this has happened before. Uh, this is what Putin is claiming, I guess. The Anglo-Saxons did it. Yes, we are going fascist again. Shouldn't have put pineapple on pizza. Everyone keeps wondering why is Italy so angry? Why do they vote this way? Who could have guessed the answer was right in front of us all along? My plan to demolish Birmingham. Reasons for demolishing Birmingham. They speak weird. I don't like it. Dumb name. Create jobs of destruction of Birmingham. Oh, that's good for the economy. Plan for demolishing a plant nuclear device in the center, do not warn residents, detonate device, and then claim that Albanians did it. Oh, twofer, you're also probably going to destroy the entire country of Albania at the same time. I see this as a win-win. I love that I know literally nothing about Birmingham or even Albania. <laughs> Yet I'm still reading this meme. British people when the clouds and rain stop for the first time in eight years and they see a weird glowing circle in the sky. What is that thing and why does it hurt to look at? Does the world know this flying ball even exists? I don't think I've ever experienced what it's like living in a place that's always cloudy and always raining, but I will say it gets pretty boring when it's just 
always sunny too. A little bit of a hot take, that's just my opinion. I'd rather have some kind of weather. The truth about American tourists and why you'll see a lot of them this year. With the pound slumping against the dollar, US travelers are flocking to our shores and they are easy to spot. Dang it, they're on to me. I was gonna go to London after this. I'm always curious how it's easy to spot us now. We're actually pretty obvious with the price. Imagine not having a coastline. This meme was brought to us by both Croatia and Chile gang. Ah, the sea countries. I knew they were gonna be teaming up soon. Wait, that works too well. The sea countries because they have a lot of sea. Okay, I'm sorry. Can't you do something about your superiority complex, says the Great Lakes. But I am superior, says Lake Superior. <laughs> Aw, it's not their fault if all the other lakes are very inferior. They're like, seems like my supremacy has made some people upset. Destroy Yugoslavia now! Bill here is like, okay. And here he goes, so how'd I do? Clinton, how could you possibly think that that's what I meant? Another day, another banger. I really love seeing, like, this is a uh, part of the meme culture, the meme sphere that I've never experienced before, but these are some of my favorite ones. We need to explore more of this. I think partly because I'm just confused still about exactly what happened. We've got you surrounded. Come and join us in Central Europe. I am Balkan. I am Balkan. Wait, who exactly is getting dragged into Central Europe? Are Balkaners getting recruited away? I feel like if anything, the Balkans are recruiting others. They're recruiting other regions of the world. South Asia, Southeast Asia. Everyone wants to be Balkan now. Czechoslovakians and Poles in 1938 and 1939. They played us like a damn fiddle. Yeah, if you don't know anything about Czechoslovakia and Poland in 1938 and 1939, I'm just gonna say it didn't go that well. And big thanks to why am I doing $20 this? $20 is a a Drew. fat Norwal, Drew's Argentinian Bring grandpa, Chris3773, good old Raya, I stole Drew's pet Jekov, dog, Bruni, Luxembourg, Nation Matt, at Risk, Dortman, Five, six, Fresh ten. Animations, e, Ron J, e, The Pie, The Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth, Twicken, Hampton, Zany Boy, 